All right, thank you very much for the update. We'll cross back to you later. Melanie Davies joining us there from Melbourne's Federation Square. Welcome back to this special edition of 10 News covering the Queen's visit to Melbourne. These are live pictures from Federation Square as Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh meet and greet some very enthusiastic locals there. You can hear the scream, screams and enthusiasm there in the crowd. Joining us now here on the desk is our royal expert that we've had throughout this special edition of 10 News. John, if I can bring you in here, this is incredible. The Queen is beaming and we can hear them singing the national anthem and God save the Queen. That's right. And of course, uh, we, uh, since we have our own uh, national anthem, uh, people will of course be singing that. But also it's interesting to see them burst out as they did in Brisbane, uh, singing God Save the Queen. We saw incredible scenes in Brisbane, but do you think this is uh, this is an incredible reception? And it's the Queen a concentrated seems area overjoyed. as well. Uh, we've got to remember that as well. But she she does seem overjoyed, and I think she would be very encouraged by the fact that she's seeing so much support from Australians. All right, Jai, we'll leave uh, those, uh, we'll stay with those live pictures. Now, of course, Her Majesty is at the top of the red carpet there at Federation Square. We have all our reporters at the bottom of the red carpet at Federation Square where we now cross to Melanie Davies. Melanie, we are seeing extraordinary scenes up there at the top of the red carpet. Have you seen Her Majesty yet and what, what, what does it feel like there? Well, it is electric here. Her Majesty is on the red carpet just behind us here. And, well, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Many have been camped out for hours to catch a glimpse of the Queen. And what a wonderful time she seems to be having. And what can we say? Melbournians are fairly charming. She's received <laughs> hundreds of bouquets of flowers as she's mingled with the crowd here. And everyone is absolutely lapping it up. And Mel, as you just mentioned, Melbournians are very charming. Now, how close have royal enthusiasts been able to get to the Queen? Because they're having incredibly close, close contact. We can see those uh, pictures right there. Yes, well, initially she was only meant to spend about 10 minutes or so on the red carpet. But so far she's been here for that long and she's only just made her, her way almost, I suppose she's probably about the, at the halfway point. Um, so we can assume by that she'll be here for another 10 minutes. We've got the Royal Tram here on standby, ready to take her down St Kilda Road, where she'll be greeted at Government House. All right, we'll cross back to you lately as Her Majesty makes her way down that Royal Carpet. Thank you very much, Melanie Davies, joining us there from Federation Square. Let's chat once again to our special guest in the studio, Jai. I'm amazed by these scenes. It's absolutely uh, overwhelming. And one of the things that was particularly interesting, I see she's running uh, just a few minutes late at the moment. Yes. But when she arrived in Canberra, she uh, was leaving before the Governor-General. And the Governor-General was to officially receive her at Government House, but left after her. So I think they must have turned every red light camera off on the way to Government House. So is this quite usual that Her Majesty would stay there for that long? It seems she's quite behind schedule, but she's overwhelmed. Look at all the bouquets of flowers. Well, she's certainly taking her time. Uh, I think that's very sweet that she would do that. We see there's a lot of children at the front there and uh, you know for her to take that time I think is very sweet. Are you quite surprised by the reception Her Majesty is receiving and Prince Philip there? Look I can't say I'm surprised. Um, we, we see that there is significant support. We've seen that in the polls. We're seeing that eventuate now. We saw it when Prince William was here. Oh, I think the... We just saw a little picture there. There was a little girl I think she was quite keen to give the bouquet to the Queen but <laughs> Prince Philip stepped in there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Sorry, keep going. No, that's OK. So we, we, we see, uh, you know, that there is, there is such a strong support in the polls. We're seeing that eventuate now. I think the question was, would we see young people take such an interest in her as they did in Prince William? Yes. We can see that they are. All right, Jai, we'll have to leave it there. We're just about to head to a quick commercial break. This, of course, is a special edition of 10 News as Her Majesty is overwhelmed by a reception there at Federation Square as she continues her tour of Australia. Stay with us. Our royal coverage will continue right after this break in this special edition of 10 News. Welcome back to this special edition of 10 News. Well, absolutely, as you can see with these live pictures from Federation Square, amazing scenes from Melbourne today where the Queen is greeting the crowds. Let's cross right now to our reporter, Melanie Davies, who is amongst the tens of thousands of incredible well-wishers there in Melbourne. Mel, tell us, what can you see right there? 
Well, we've got the flags flying high. There have been cheers. The Queen is, oh, she's probably about 20 or so metres from us. You can see her gorgeous bright pink hat. She certainly has had an extraordinary journey down the red carpet here. It's taken a little bit longer than expected. And we can see now she's just picked up the pace a little bit and she's moving along, not collecting quite as many flowers as she was at the top of Federation Square. Here's Square and, uh, and the tram. Well, that is standing by, all ready to take her down at St Kilda Road. And we've been told that there are thousands of people also lining that, um, and she'll no doubt give them a royal wave on her way to Government House. Well, these scenes have just been incredible. The atmosphere, looking at the vision, is incredible. Tell us what it's like there. We can hear the national anthem, God Save the Queen. Everyone's so excited there. Yes, everybody is overjoyed at Her Majesty's Melbourne visit. People have gone to extraordinary effort for her. One little boy we spoke to this morning has written a letter he'd like that delivered to Prince Charles. He's put a photo of himself in that. Other people have come in ball gowns. We've seen somebody dressed in a tuxedo. And hundreds and hundreds of bouquets of flowers. And people are certainly very excited here in Melbourne. Melanie, incredible scenes. Thanks for joining us. We'll bring uh, Jai in once again as we uh, continue with these live pictures. It's extraordinary. The scenes are unbelievable. I guess for the Queen, this has been an amazing reception. She's extended that visit with the meet and greet there with the locals at Federation Square. Yeah, these things tend to uh, uh, be overwhelming when you see such crowds and for her to take the time to walk through the crowds, greeting as many people as possible. And I imagine that she's uh, probably put a lot of her time to the younger people. And in regards to the tram ride, we're uh, set to hear that the, uh, the Queen, after the meet and greet there with all the, the locals, including hundreds and thousands mm. of children, offering the Queen a bouquet of flowers, will get the tram ride then down to Government House, a specially That's... made tram ride. We can see these pictures here now. So these appropriate. There's something so symbolic of Melbourne. Absolutely, and especially made tram, I understand, where the driver got quite a surprise when she was told by her boss she thought she was in trouble. Her <laughs> name was Jolene Smith, thought she was in trouble when she was called to her boss's office last week, but it turned out that she had been selected to meet the Queen well, and I'm accepted glad. the task of driving the Queen of the Duke of Edinburgh. I'm Isn't sure that, that she's, um, you know, not regretting uh, having not called in sick that day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, these are amazing scenes, and quite fittingly, the Queen has chosen a bright, some people have called a shocking pink jacket with a matching hat to match the beautiful bright weather there that Melbourne has turned on for the Queen's visit. Definitely, and uh, to see that there's been such great weather right since the beginning of her visit, except for a couple of days. And the Queen must be incredibly touched by the reception she has received. I would imagine so. I think that uh, for her, the Australian people do hold a special place. Uh, she's always said that, uh, you know, our constitutional future is a matter for Australians. But whilst uh, we choose to retain her, she will serve us to the best of her ability. Jai, we've run out of time in this special edition. Thanks so much for your insight and for joining Thank us this afternoon. I'm Natasha Belling. Thanks so much for your company and watching this special edition of 10 News. I hope you have a lovely afternoon.